All right, this is brand new automotive news. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's go into reader mode real quick. All right, from FordAuthority.com, future Ford vehicles may get a curfew enforcement system. So this was a patent that was filed during the uh, pandemic. So Ford has filed a number of patents aimed at making the roads safer over the past few years, including a distracted driving detection system and dynamic control of hybrid vehicle modes. Now with more teens dying on U.S. roads than ever before. I didn't know that. That's rather sad. The automaker has filed a new patent outlining an idea for a curfew enforcement system that may be used in future Ford vehicles. Interesting. All right, so it says the idea is to help bring those numbers down by creating a system that ensures younger folks aren't, past, aren't out past their imposed curfew. It accomplishes this by using geofencing in a processor to determine if the teen is out past their curfew. And if they are, it reports this information to a parent or guardian, as well as to whether or not the vehicle is located within that geofenced area. Okay, if the latter proves to be the case, the system will be able to send vehicle travel history to parents and guardians, and can also determine if the young driver will make it back to the desired location before their curfew ends based on the vehicle's speed and navigational data. It also says, while this obviously seems a bit intrusive, the idea is to ensure that young folks are home by the time their parents dictate, which could potentially help avoid tragic accidents occurring late at night. I will say this, uh, about a month ago, I have a friend of mine whose son was out late, uh, two, three in the morning, was heading home from a party, uh, he got into an accident, he's okay, but the whole right side of the car that he bought new last year, or new used car, the whole right side is smashed. And from what I understand, the young man was driving in the fog, came around a turn too fast, and smacked into the guardrail. Maybe something like this may have prevented something like that. Just pure speculation. So I can see where this will have its merits. Of course, we have to balance the safety issue versus the privacy issue. I don't know. I got mixed feelings about this. But if it saves lives, in the end, I would say, let's do it. What do you think?